Hey guys, welcome to your reading. Um, today we're going to take a look and find out if the feelings between you and your person are mutual <laughs> currently. Okay, so do keep in mind it's going to be general. So not all the messages are going to resonate with everybody. So use your intuition and take what resonates, leave the rest. Uh, Timestamps will be below as always. And if you guys are interested in personals, that info is below as well. And we'll go with pile one. Alrighty, hi pile one. We'll take a look first. We're going to find out what how you're kind of feeling. Then we'll take a look at how they're feeling and we'll see if the feelings are mutual. <laughs> okay, so um, I just kind of did this on the fly. So we'll see what comes out here. But uh, yeah, general reading. So first couple cards aren't hitting the mark with you. Uh, definitely take a look at another pile. Okay, let's find out how you're feeling towards this connection. And ten of wands. Wow, five of cups. And the three of starts. Okay, well, pile one, uh, right away, I'm going to tell you, if this is not you, go ahead and click off. But clearly, there's a lot of pain and heartbreak here. <clears throat> Very big burden. Okay. Um, for some of you, yeah, this definitely could have been a breakup here. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of you are just like, it's like a heartbroken energy. I, I don't know how else to say it. I mean, these are uh, some of the three biggest stressful cards of the deck here. So wow i mean if this is you guys my heart definitely goes out to you okay um uh, yeah been there and and this is yeah heavy energy guys okay well again if this is not your pile feel free to check another one okay let's see what's wrong with the five of cups yeah the lovers um yeah uh i mean for some of you you guys could be gemini dealing with a gemini here but this is something that you felt a fated connection here Okay, there's disappointment, there's heartbreak, um, and it's weighing really heavy on you guys right now. So very heavy energy towards this person here. I'm going to say that you guys are definitely in separation here. This could have even been a divorce for some of you. Um, this is somebody that you saw long term with though. Okay, for some of you, you could have felt like this was a soulmate or um, a counterpart here. Okay, so clearly something happened. Uh, we'll, we'll see if we can get a little more, but yeah, let's find out what's wrong with the Ten of Wands. The Four of Swords. So yeah, so listen, I think that you guys are in the process of healing. It, it's still a burden because there's definitely a deep connection here that you feel towards this person. Um, it does look like there's separation here. So again, I mean, if you're already resonating with this, then this clear message of how you're kind of feeling. Um, I will say in the separation, I think it's been really hard for you guys here to force yourself to move, move on no matter what the pain or what caused the ending here. Um, it's been pretty hard, but I think you guys are, are doing a great job. Okay. The four of swords, the lovers, um, I think you're kind of letting go a little bit of the stress. So I think it's getting a little easier here. Um, definitely some, I mean, still some hurt here. I mean, it's definitely in the energy. So I, okay. 10 of wands. Why is it here? Queen of wands. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, for some of you, um, you know, you're again with the 10 of wands and the, it's a beautiful card in this deck, but it's just, it does sometimes give me the, like the anxious fear. Okay. So I, I really think this describes a lot of you kind of how you're feeling about this situation. Okay. I think it's, just brought a lot of pain. I, I don't know. Um, yeah, for some of you, you definitely, it could have been, um, a little bit of blow to your self-esteem here. Okay. Whatever this ending was, uh, when you lost this person, I mean, if you thought this was a counterpart and they walked away or you had to walk away, um, yeah, I, I think that was the stress. It's almost like, you know, what do I do here? Okay. Let's get more five of cups. Two of Wands. Yeah, it's like you're trying to move on from this, though. I do see this. It's like you're looking towards the future. For some of you, you definitely still are waiting for this person. You know, you're waiting. You're not giving up hope, even though there was something here that uh, was pretty heavy in the past between the two of you. Uh, but at the same time, I think that for some of you, you are trying to see the future, the possibilities that await you. Um, you know... I don't know. For some of you, you've definitely done the healing work. And so this is you finally kind of dropping the burden here, um, getting out of this five of cups energy and really actually seeing a future for yourself, realizing that you are the queen of wands here. Um, and honestly, you can take on anything. You guys are very attractive. I mean, you have so many options here. Um, you know, 
and and again i mean it doesn't matter these these kind of connections here when they end it it can put even the most confident people in their weakest moments you know and it's all meant to help us grow you know it, it sucks at the moment when we're going through it but um yeah so so let's keep going three of stars we'll clarify some of these if we need to too page of pentacles I feel like for some of you, okay, well, I mean, for some of you, this person never even spoke up. Okay, they didn't step up for you. Um, you were feeling this, the lovers, okay, for this person. You were you were feeling this deep, kind of faded, almost soul connection here with them. Um, yeah, for some of you, I think that's why this is there. The Three of Swords is that this person just kind of never, never stepped up here for you. Okay. Uh, others of you, this is, this is, I think you're kind of trying to hold this pain in. Okay. So again, on the outside, you may be acting like everything's fine in the inside. I feel like for some of you, it's still, it's still like, it's just this nagging thing there. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll clarify. Let's see. Tell us more about the page of Pentacles. Let's see. The Ace of Cups. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, for some of you, and, and, you know, that could be, it could go two ways here. This is um, somebody who failed to express all the love and the feelings that they had for you here. Okay, and it and just caused heartbreak. Um, yeah, bottom of the deck, nine of wands, ace of pentacles. Yeah, for a lot of you, you saw, like, long term with this person. So, and I think for a lot of you, you still do. Um, yeah, this person could have held back for a while, too, with the nine of wands. It's almost like they stop this from progressing for some of them um let's see yeah and for others of you you know where that's not the case and this is definitely you trying to hide the heartbreak here okay you're doing you're doing a good job and i feel like for a lot of you you've been doing this for a while so this could be somebody who you've been in separation with for a little bit here now okay so it's almost like you're to the point it's like when is this ace of pentacles going to come back in you know um, because you guys with, yeah, the high priestess, the chariot, this is something that you intuitively feel drawn to, to have with this person. So again, for a lot of you, I think you're kind of masking the amount of, uh, emotional pain that you're kind of feeling right now. Um, yeah. And you're, and I think a lot of you are just hoping that this person possibly grows up and, and comes back and really commits to this, like they know it deserves. Okay. All right. The lovers, why is it here? The Knight of Pentacles, yeah. Yeah, see, I mean, there is this thing that almost this person just took too long to commit here. Okay, I feel like, yeah, they just held back. You know, there was never a judgment call made for some of you. You could have been in like a pretty serious commitment with this person and you expected like the full thing, right? Like the full level commitment here. Um, and I say that because we have judgment, Ten of Pentacles at the bottom. And then this person just never took a leap. They never took it that far. Okay, they kind of just, some of them, they just kind of pulled back. And I think what I'm getting here too is that, and you guys might even know this, is <clears throat> it seems to me that this person just might have a fear of that type of commitment here. Okay, we'll keep going. But but that's kind of the energy I'm getting. Okay, um, something took too long here. Yeah, okay. Four of Swords. judgment i mean we just saw that right um yeah for some of you you did you you walked away from this person already like you've already you had to call you had to make a judgment call here because it was becoming too stressful for you to sit here in disappointment waiting for this person to to commit here i don't know i mean that's that's the heaviest message that's kind of coming through right now um yeah so you took time out for a lot of you it took a while to actually come to this this decision to, you know, I don't know, release the burden here. Um, yeah, for a lot of you though, uh, regardless of if you've let this person go, I still think that you have this hope here because there's a deep love here that you feel for them. So yeah. Okay. Well, let's start clarifying a little bit then we'll find out how they're feeling. Um, four of swords. Let's see. What's that here? Whoa. Okay. Page of pentacles. <laughs> the lovers bottom of the deck four of pentacles nine of swords this person just held back from you and so i think for a lot of you 
you you got tired of giving to this, even though you felt, <laughs> you know, you felt this strong connection. Uh, for a lot of you, I am getting that you just kind of pulled pulled your energy back. So again, if you are the one giving to this, you kind of just stopped giving, okay? You just felt like maybe they just, they came to this connection pretty small. Um, and for some of you, you feel like they didn't choose you. So I don't know how that resonates in your own, I mean, you know, scenario there, but there is that. Um, yeah. Okay. For a lot of you too, I think you are kind of nervous to let this go, even though you, you know, you're just kind of like done being in the limbo stage, but you know, there's, there's a layer there. You're still hoping this person comes back around with something here with the Knight of Cups and the Justice card. Okay. So that's kind of what I'm getting for you, Pile One. So if this sounds like you, uh, we will go over and find out how your person's feeling. Um, you know what? I do want to pull on that Five of Cups really quick. Just before we go. All right, Five of Cups. Might do the Lovers too. It's the Eight of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Eight of Swords. Hmm. Okay, for some of you, it feels like you put in the work here. Again, you put in all the work here, um, and you're the empress. And so now you're in your head, like, why did I already... You know, you want this person to fight for you here. I'm just getting that, too. It feels like you you gave more to this connection than they did, and that's what has caused you guys a lot of this pain. I don't know. Just kind of is that. Yeah, there was a lot of love here from your side. Um, you saw a future here. That's, yeah, a full future with the Ace of Cups. The Nine of Wands, I felt like for a lot of you, this this was a long time where you were kind of waiting for this person to to show you that they want to work on this. I don't know. I mean, it's just kind of the, the stuff coming out here. Okay. Um, let's do the lovers really quick. Why is lovers here? Eight of Cups. Yeah, for a lot of you, you guys walked away from this. Yeah, King of Wands, Three of Cups. Hmm. Um... Yeah, you, you, this person could have definitely taken their sweet time here. They could have been operating out of ego, uh, very heavily involved in their community. So whether that be a social life here, like going out, um, you know, or just really involved in the community here, it, it's almost just like you, you just had enough. It was like they were choosing everybody, but you, but the soulmate connection, this person, you feel like this person with the page of cups and the two of cups showed up small to what you feel was like a destined connection here. So, okay, I'm going to leave that there. If that sounds like you guys, then um, we will go over to the next spread and we'll see if the feelings are mutual here or what it is exactly they are feeling towards this. Okay, so, all right, let's take a look, find out how Pile One's person is currently feeling about this connection with them. Nine of Pentacles, yeah. The Emperor. Six of Swords, okay. Well, they did, they could feel like you've moved on. I mean, you know, they could definitely feel like um, they didn't give to this like they were supposed to and they were guarded and they, you know, there is a need. They want to move forward here with you again for a lot of them. They don't know if you're just like done with them. Like, you know, did I, did I already miss this because I was guarded? What's right with the emperor? Let's see. Ace of Swords, yeah. Listen, for a lot of them, they know that there's um, there's some kind of probably a conversation that you guys are going to have to have where this person knows that they're going to have to kind of, you know, put their emperor pants on here and tell some truths, explain some things. I don't know, you know, um, hmm. and this could be, okay, I am getting, you know, because you are viewing them as the page. So clearly this person I feel like is aware that there's something here they need to talk about in order to move things forward. You guys really could be blocking this person, like paying them no mind. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm getting for some of you. Yeah. You, you were the one to pull away here. Uh, yeah. So they know they feel it. <laughs> it's like, there's a, there's a really big desire here, uh, to move things forward with you to calmer waters. So I don't know if this person needed to grow up a little bit here. And they may, I mean, just they were coming out as the page a little bit uh, for you, how you're viewing them. And so maybe they're viewing themselves the same way. And I mean, let's see. Let's keep going. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles, what's red with it? 
five of pentacles yeah for a lot of you you left this person out in the cold i mean you just did it's like you're doing your own thing uh they don't know they they know that they're gonna have to do something here so they're feeling like they want to move this forward i mean for you pile one i think you're just kind of like listen if you don't come correct this time and you come back as a page and you don't give to this connection then bye like and they see that you're good on your own and they see that you'll just walk away from this so this person's feeling it i mean they're definitely feeling it so again if you guys walked away this this kind of worked here so um i'm gonna say so far the feelings seem to be pretty mutual here let's um let's see what the nine of pentacles what's up Yeah, five of wands. Listen, they if you guys were feeling that way towards them, and I just want to jump over here really quick and, and take a look at yours. This person clearly caused you a lot of distress here, a lot of stress. I mean, it just was. They know this. So, you know, they know <laughs> that they um, caused some conflict here, and it, and it ultimately left them out in the cold, okay? So... Yeah, I would say so far the feelings are mutual. They they have an understanding here of why you possibly walked away or while why you're possibly not entertaining them at the moment. Okay? The Emperor, why is here? Nine of Wands. It's almost like this person needs to close out a cycle of, and I'm getting uh, just for a lot of them, it's just being immature. Okay? It's just not coming to this connection correct. It, it's been a long time coming that this person... <laughs> You know, it's just caused nothing but conflict for them to continue in, in the state they were. For a lot of them, it was just indecisive because they didn't know if they wanted to do the whole long-term thing here. For the moment, It it they're realizing it now because, I mean, I think, you know, you guys pulled back your energy in some way, shape, or form here, and, it, and it's left them in this. So I feel like this person feels like they have no choice but to, in order, I mean, which they want to do six of swords so they want to do this they're feeling this they have no choice and they know for a lot of them it's been a long time coming that they needed to clear the air here with you so take that how it resonates i don't know um okay six of swords see there's that knight of pentacles mm, i'm gonna tell you guys i am getting like this cocky there's a there's like an arrogant vibe here with this person they can move forward here. They want to move forward here, but they, they still think they can take their time. So, you know, I mean, this is the same kind of stuff that I think that kind of, uh, you were tired of. I mean, again, though, there is this thing. And the reason this time around, they may be taking their time is because I do think this person is trying to mature in order to bring some sort of truth and clarity. So, you know, if they deed around in the past here just because they were immature and they didn't really know if they could do the whole committal thing, this is them actually moving forward to a strategic plan of becoming the emperor to have some sort of communication here that I think has been a long time coming. Okay. <laughs> All right. Ace of Swords. <clears throat> Seven of Wands. Um, yeah, the they're going to do this. Uh, they want to. They're feeling it. Uh, they know that they have to. They've, they've got to fight. It's been a long time coming here. They're not going to give up. So that's basically what it's saying. It's like, yes, it may still take them a while. I mean, I don't know. I think this person feels like you, you might, even though you're over here in Nine of Pentacles and, and we saw Queen of Wands Empress come out for your spread, um, they feel like you might be understanding of why it's taken them <clears throat> a while because they feel like when they do come in that it's going to be something solid and, and you're going to hear some truths and get some answers that um, will hopefully help this connection move forward in their eyes. So I don't know. There's that. Um, yeah, it's been a long time coming for a lot of you guys. And I think this person's been guarded to opening up here about whatever the truth is here. Yeah. Page of Cups and the Hermit randomly at the bottom of the deck. It's like this person just withheld feelings. Um, I will say that energy has been coming up a lot in the collective of, of whoever this is. Like having the feelings, but really, really, really not wanting to really just nervous and scared of telling the truth. I don't know. Wow, okay. Well, let's keep going. Five pentacles. 
Oh, the Queen of Swords. Yeah. I mean, listen. <laughs> Um, I mean, we saw your spread. You've been through a lot with this person. Okay. You, you have every right to set boundaries and that's exactly what you guys did. I'm just going to say pile one for the majority of you. I think you guys finally put up the boundaries here and now it's making this person want to fight for this. So, you know, they recognize exactly what you recognize where they went wrong. I'm going to say that. So yeah, I'm going to say the feelings <clears throat> are definitely mutual here. Again, the timing thing. <laughs> You know, I don't know. I mean, this person with the Emperor and the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, I feel like this is going to be a very well-planned conversation. And it's probably going to take this person a while to get over their fears. <clears throat> I wouldn't be surprised if this person rehearses this before they come in. Because honestly, you guys are like Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Swords over here uh, with them for the moment. So, I mean, yeah. Uh, let's pull on the Five of Wands. Why is that here? Three of Wands. This person knows they took too long. It, it, that's it. You, you're just, you had enough. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, they took too long, whatever this was. Whatever, if it was just being, you know, fully committed to you or moving things to another level, it just, that's what it feels like. Yeah, they know that you've just had enough. I, I just feel like you guys aren't putting up with it anymore. That's really the energy coming off, and they know this. So, yeah. Yeah, and, and it's it's conducive to your spread too. I mean, it goes it goes simultaneously, really. <laughs> um, so yeah, they're they're feeling this as well. Pile one. Um, let's see what else do we want to do. Let's do the um, let's do the six swords. Five cups. This person's in regret because they didn't take an opportunity here with you because they drug ass. Yeah, page of cups and the hermit wanted to show back up at the bottom. Yeah, they just they didn't give. They didn't give to this. So they know it. So now they want to move forward from that. Um, I am going to say for some of you, this is for like selfish reasons too, because they don't like feeling like this. And so, you know, their idea of moving this forward, while they might think it's a wonderful, amazing thing that they're going to come in here and do, they still could be a little guarded here in the emperor type of, you know, when they come in and just, it could be small, like the page of cups, you know, in, in your eyes. I mean, they're viewing themselves, again, I am getting there, there's a flavor of ego here with this person. So, <clears throat> yes, they do see what they've done here, but no, I don't think they see themselves as much at fault here as you do. Okay, like they, they don't see their efforts as lacking as much as you you do. If that makes sense. I, I don't know how to say that, but it's kind of there. So um, that's for somebody. Okay. Uh, Knight of Pentacles. Let's just see. Ooh. Okay. We had two pop out. Yeah. Nine of Swords and the Star. See, this is why they're taking their time. <laughs> they're taking action here, though. This person feels they, they know that they want to take some sort of action with the King of Swords and the Fool at the bottom. But again, there's this anxiety here. And that's why they're being very strategic about this conversation because this conversation right here could potentially lead to a new beginning for you guys with the star. Okay. They're nervous. I mean, they are, they just are because again, they do know why you feel the way you do. Again, they're gonna, they're nerves, but they're also trying to still keep a little bit of that, that guard there. Okay. So, all right, pile one, um, pretty specific message here. I, I will say, I think you guys are feeling mutual. So whatever happened between you, I know, I think your person knows what they need to do here. And I think you know what you expect from them. So if this was your message, I would love to hear from you guys below, because again, pretty specific for this one tonight. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. I appreciate all the like shares and comments too, by the way, you guys have just shown amazing support here. So thank you all. Um, and if you guys are interested in personals, that info is below too. I do have a few spots open for next week. So again, if you're interested, there they are. Okay. All right, pile one. I will talk to you next one. All right. Take care. Bye. To you. Welcome to your reading. Uh, today we're going to take a look and find out if your person's feelings are mutual. Um, we're going to take a look at yours first and then we will go over it and look at your person's. Do keep the minds general so the first couple cards come out they don't resonate. Feel free to pick another pile. Okay. All right. Let's find out how you're feeling. Um, okay. We have the four of pentacles. Nine of pentacles. Okay. Three of pentacles. Okay. 
Um, okay. For some of you, I'm going to say, I think, uh, I think in the 3d you're coming off like closed off. Maybe you set boundaries here. Like clearly you're coming out as the nine of pentacles. So I think that you've, uh, you know, kind of good on your own over here. Minor arcana empress stuff pile too. Um, but secretly I'm going to say, I would, I think that you're, you're hoping for communication here. <laughs> okay. I don't know just kind of coming off. We'll, we'll see where it goes. What's wrong with the nine of pentacles? Death. Yeah. Like you guys have like this glow up or something here. Um, I feel like you, you're guarded to this person. You've set boundaries, but at the same time, you're still kind of holding on to them. I don't know. Kind of that there, there could have been an ending between the two of you. I mean, definitely it, you know, nine of pentacles, death card. I don't know, a couple layers. I can't wait to clarify these. Okay, let's see. Oh, uh, what's wrong with the Four of Pentacles? Oh, the Emperor. Okay, well. Um, clearly, I think some of you do consider this person to be like a soulmate here. You know, counterpart soulmate here. Um, I do think that, you know, you've kind of, you either feel that this person's guarded, okay, and you're expecting communication, and you're trying to, grow right now i don't know there's there's something here i let's start clarifying because this can go a couple ways for the first i mean my initial pickup of this is that like you guys are like kind of setting boundaries in the 3d but secretly wanting like this thing here with the ember i don't know okay let's see four pinnacles by the ear knight of swords yeah listen you guys are like super guarded i don't know it's like you're holding back, you're holding on to, it's like you're, you've put boundaries up, okay, you're guarded here, um, but at the same time, like, you're still, like, I think you're wanting this person to do something here, to reach out, I don't know, I, I don't think you're going to make a move here, so I do think that, um, just kind of coming off that way, I mean, we'll clarify, but Nine of Pentacles, why is that here? Two of Swords, see, <clears throat> see, that's it. Okay, listen, if this isn't resonating, then feel free to pick another pile because I feel like this is pretty specific here. I think you guys are at a crossroads of like, you know, do I keep my guard up here? Wait for them to come in. I don't know. Like it's, it's this, there's something here. You're, you're torn between either a holding on to this person or B holding back from this person and then, or like moving forward. I don't know. There's something here. There's something here with that. <laughs> okay. Three of cups. Yeah. The page of funds. Listen, I, I mean, I think that you're, you're, you guys are hoping this person reaches out. I, I don't know if you had to block them there. There might be a conversation because I say that I'm looking at the bottom of my deck. I'm holding it. It's ace of swords with a nine of pentacles. Um, I mean, there's some kind of communication I think that you're hoping for from them uh possibly to clear the air like some clarity here or something I don't know um yeah kind of that okay death why is that here we'll we'll clarify these in just a second eight of cups well I mean look for some of you guys you just walked away from this person because maybe they refused to reach out and so now you've got your boundaries up they were guarded um there's a crossroads here for you. Like you're like, do I just move on? Um, go towards my 10 of pentacles by myself over here. Or do I hope for a transformation and wait for this person to grow up and reach out? I don't know. I think for some of you, you're holding on to the hope that this person does grow up. Like you may be viewing them as the page right now and you are holding out hope that they'll turn into the emperor and like show you that they can give some stability here in this connection. I don't know. Kind of, kind of vibes. Okay. Well, let's see. Um, the emperor, why is he here? Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. I mean, yeah, this person could have been slow to commit. They, again, I think that a lot of you were hoping this person just steps up to the plate here. Okay. So that you don't have to walk away for good. I mean, it's kind of that. Okay. All right. Well, let's pull on the, um, let's pull on the page of wands. Is that here? It's the two of swords for a lot of you guys block this person. Yeah. 10 of cups in the moon. Um, 
it's weird energy. I'm going to say, I feel like for some of you, you have blocked this person, but yet you still view them as the 10 of cups secretly. Okay. Uh, for others of you, you're hoping that this person comes forward and opens up and, and tells you, you know, I think you can sense that they feel the same. And so it's almost that, or they, they come clean about, yeah, they close out a cycle here, possibly holding back and, and start giving to this connection. So, I mean, for a lot of you, you did walk away and you, and if, if he didn't, I mean, you've at least put boundaries up with this person, I think. Um, so now you're deciding like, do I wait for them to come back here or do I, um, yeah, keep going on my own. Um, let's see the four of pentacles. Why is that here? <clears throat> the queen of wands, hmm. knight of cups and the hierophant. Yeah. I mean, listen, for some of you, you were definitely seeing long-term with this person, you know, it could be a thing of why you're kind of, I don't know. I still also get like you're wanting this person to come in and maybe just still offer you something. So you're holding back like, yeah, I mean, you're just kind of holding back doing your own thing right now. I don't know. Yeah. Seven of wands, 10 of swords behind that. I think you guys would love to have a conversation with them at least. So, I mean, even if you are putting boundaries up in the 3d, if this person could come, come correctly here and communicate something, let's see the three of cups. Why is it here? The queen of swords, queen of pentacles. Okay. Well, listen, I mean, for some of you, this could be third party, you know? And so you are waiting for, I mean, you're waiting for some kind of communication from your emperor here about this. I don't know. There's, there's element here with that just because that was there. So not for everybody. Okay. Um, hmm. okay. Let's see. Let's do the eight of cups really quick the queen of wands again. Yeah. I feel like a lot of you guys just walked away, you know, listen, and it's almost like uh, the four of cups and the empress behind that. You walked away. You didn't want to. Okay. You are still regretful because you do feel like this is a counterpart here. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's almost like guys, I, I'm just going to tell you the queen of wands came out twice. And as we know, she can sometimes wear a mask. And I think that you guys are fronting in the 3d like you're all good and like you're putting up boundaries but really like you're just really really hoping that this person just grows up and comes back okay it's kind of the energy i'm getting here so again if you are not resonating <clears throat> definitely feel free to check out the pile yeah you saw long-term commitment with this person okay six of swords nine of swords and the four of wands and the high priestess it was almost like there was this inner knowing when you met this person that this could this could definitely be a counterpart for you guys i don't know uh, we're going to jump over and find out how they're feeling. Okay. So we see how you're feeling. Um, clearly, I don't know if you guys are together. It feels like there's probably a separation because, um, the eight of cups, nine of pentacles, you know, death, I getting that vibe. Okay. All right. Well, let's go find out. Um, let, let's find out how your person's feeling and we'll see if there are mutual feelings here. <laughs> okay. We have judgment. Yeah. Three of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, this person's feeling it. I mean, they, they you know there's a judgment call here to do something. Um, I mean, they need to come back in and work together right now. The hidden energy is the Five of Pentacles, so they are definitely feeling like the loss of you. You know, uh, they're probably doing a really good job at masking this too. I almost get for both of you, <laughs> I want to say stand standoff, but it's, like who's going to reach out first? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Let's see what's rough with the three of pentacles. The knight of wands. Okay. Yeah. This person could have definitely been like non-committal here. There's something to do with that. Like them knowing that, okay, I shuffled 10 of cups at the bottom with the moon. It, this came back. So I think mutual energy for the both of you. <laughs> um, you were both feeling this. Yeah. And you both almost kept it from each other. I don't know. I mean, your person did. I don't know if you did too. You may have. I mean, I don't know if any of this was expressed here in this connection um, to the depths of what you both saw it as, which was complete wish fulfillment here. But there's a judgment call for your person. They know, like first card out, they know there needs to be something here. I mean, yeah. 
if they if they didn't want to call this what it was when they were with you it's like well now they feel the loss of it so what is there left to do but to say what this is I don't know I mean it just feels like that um yeah okay let's keep going what's wrong with judgment death mm. I mean there's something here your person I feel like wants to transform I mean, we, we clearly see, I feel like there is an ending here. So I am going to say pile two, I think, you know, probably in separation from this person. Um, this is a judgment call to almost take some bold action here because of the lack of your energy and stuff that's going on at the, at the hidden energy here um, to come in and start to rebuild here. Okay, transform this, if you will. I don't know. Yeah, there is also a need for this person to like if they were if they were in and out hot and cold in the past. There's a need to put that down. They they feel it. So I mean, you know, they know what they want to do for this connection. Um, let's see, judgment. Let's wrap with that. Four of Pentacles. So you both got. I'm gonna go back over to yours really quick. You both got the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Okay. Judgment. You both know that something needs to be done here action needs to be taken i i don't know i mean it could be mutual where you just both haven't opened up to each other fully and so you're you're just like missing this opportunity here um if that resonates with you if not this is your person you know they know they know that you're expecting them to take action and make a judgment call here and do something so yes i will say again i mean they're feeling this let's see let's see what's for the three of pentacles <clears throat> Page of Pentacles, that's so weird. <clears throat> Guys, I was just about to say, the bottom of my deck is the Nine of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles behind that. And it's almost like they want to come rebuild this with you, but they're seeing you as the Nine of Pentacles. So they're seeing you, again, if you guys walked away, they're like, what What do I offer here? That's why they're holding back. Mm. Okay, well. Uh, okay, Five of Pentacles, why is that here? Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. You guys are good on your own. I, I don't know. They miss you. <laughs> That's for sure. So I'm going to say, you know, this person, I think the feelings are, are definitely mutual here. <laughs> I mean, they miss you. They feel they feel cut off from you right now. Um, yeah, they want to offer something. They just don't know if it's going to be enough. I, It's that. So the knowing is here what they need to do. They're feeling what they need to do. Um, they almost might just have to sit in this for a little bit longer to actually like <laughs> get up and do something here. I don't know. I mean, we do see there's a need for them to grow. And I think you guys see it too, you know, with the emperor being there. Um, right. Yeah. Yeah. You want them to transform. They want to, um, you know, they need to, if they're going to, if they're going to build what they, I'm going to tell you for the, for the time being, I mean, the feelings are mutual. I think this person is just a little below your level, to be honest, when it comes to, um, you know, kind of everything. I don't, <laughs> I mean, that sounds harsh, but that's not what I'm meaning it by. It's just emotionally, spiritually, yeah, they are. Okay, just what it feels like here. Okay, Knight of Wands. It's a younger energy, I mean, for them, compared to how they're viewing you, so that's why I'm saying that. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune, this person, they already, they're feeling like this is, <clears throat> there's a pull here towards you <laughs> pile two so again if this person was like non-committal um i don't know if they're waiting for like the right time here there could be something to do with finances like um the queen of pentacles is deserving of everything right if this person is only at the page yeah eight of swords at the bottom with the ten of pentacles that's weird okay yeah i think they they do see long term here with you they're nervous that they're not at that level right now though I mean, it's just, it is that. So they could be waiting for some kind of wheel to turn here for them to make a move. Um, they are feeling this connection though with you. So they they do realize that they have to grow here. Okay. Death, why is it here? Strength. Okay. Listen, I was, I was just thinking before that came out. I was like, these are pretty powerful cards of transformation, judgment, wheel of fortune, death. Like... If we got another major arcana and I was like, I'm not surprised to see the strength. This person, listen, they are feeling the 
the need, the desire, all of that to grow in order to have this with you. Okay. It really is what it is. I mean, uh, again, if you guys walked away, this five of pentacles energy really pushed them to, to reevaluate past behaviors here. Okay. Listen, this is, um, this is like some kind of destined thing. I think this person, uh, actually needed something like this to occur for them to grow. Okay. So I am going to say the feelings are mutual here. Okay. They, they understand what you need. And I think this is what they're trying to do. There's a lot of fear here though, still about commitment. I'm just going to tell you. So if you guys, um, I don't know if you guys gave this person an ultimatum about like, you know, we either go long term here or we separate. I don't know. They're having anxiety about, because I say that nine of swords for once and we saw the 10 of pentacles with the other, they just don't feel like they're able to, you know, I don't know, provide what the queen of pentacles might need right now. There's definitely like a factor of finances for, for them here that they want to be able to provide for you. So there's that. Um, yeah, there's just fear. There's nerves. They feel like a page. It's, it's, it's a growth process for this person. I feel like they're on the right track though. So, um, yeah, let's see if there's anything we want to pull on here really quick. Let's see the five of pentacles. Ten of swords. Yeah. I mean, clearly we know there's an ending queen of wands, nine of cups. Um, yeah, you guys, <laughs> you guys like for a lot of you, you ended it here. Okay. Um, they know that they owe you something here because honestly they saw the hierophant and justice with you. So yeah, it is like they, you know, the devil behind that with the eight of swords, it's like this person just stayed stuck in their head, mental trap here when it came to taking things to another level with you. They got scared. It's almost like they just, I don't know if this person like ran away. If you guys walked away because they were just so fearful of opening up and, and actually diving into this connection. I don't know. There's that. Um, yeah, with all these major arcanas of transformation, I do feel like this person is definitely in the process of doing this. They, um, they don't want to be <laughs> left out from you anymore. So pile two, if this resonated with you, I would love to hear from you because again, I feel like this is a pretty specific message as well. I'm going to say, I think, yes, you both have mutual feelings here. This person, again, they're just not on your level yet. I mean, I don't know what else to say, and it's not to be mean, but that's where they are. So the feelings are still there, but the growth on their side is still needed here. Okay. And it's happening. You know, I am saying there's just transformation, um, occurring presently right now. So, you know, I would say try to have a little patience here. Uh, but yeah, that's it. So yeah, definitely let me know if this uh, was a little bit on the mark for you guys. And if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to the like button on your way out. And if you guys are interested in personals, that is below as well. All right, guys, I will talk to you soon. Bye. Welcome to your reading. Uh, let's take a look. So we're going to check to see if the, the feelings are mutual between the person on your mind and you. So we're going to take a look at them. Are you first? And then we'll look at theirs and determine if the feelings are mutual. <laughs> okay. All right. Do keep in mind I'm going to be general. So if the first couple cards come out not your pile. Feel free to pick another one. Okay. Let's see. Okay. We have the seven of cups. I have the eight of swords. Okay. The 10 of cups. Yeah. Listen, I feel like you guys, uh, saw this person as like complete wish fulfillment here. I mean, with the 10 of cups. So this is how you're feeling. I will say, I mean, with the seven of cups and the eight of swords, there's confusion possibly about where this connection stands at the moment. Um, I don't know. We're going to clarify. <laughs> so again, if this sounds like you, this may be your pile. Okay. Eight of swords. What's right with that? Knight of swords. Um, hmm. I feel like some of you are in your head about possibly making a move towards this person or then making a move towards you. So some of you could be waiting on this person. Okay. Um, to do something here, take action of some sort, uh, possibly make up their mind, you know, with seven of cups. So I don't know if, you know, again, if this person kept you as an option or made you feel like that because they didn't take action here. Um, yeah, there's something to do with that and we'll clarify here. Okay. Let's see what's right with the seven of cups. <laughs> Yeah. Will of fortune. Okay. Well, I feel like you guys are waiting. Okay. You're in this state of confusion about this connection right now. You do feel like, um, some sort of pull here 
to this person. And I think that you're really hoping that something changes, like the dynamic between the two of you change changes somehow. Okay. So for some of you, you know, you are kind of waiting for like a shift here. Um, kind of getting that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And for some of you too, I did hear, um, I think for some of you, this isn't going to be for everybody, but like you guys with this person, you thought they were like the whole thing. And now you're confused. Like, is this a destined connection? Um, or was this just all in my head? Right? Like, uh, for some of you, you're wondering, yeah, does this person feel the same? Like, um, is it just me that feels like we have something here or, you know, am I just making this up? Um, yeah. Okay. Let's keep going. Seven of cups. Let's ride with that. Okay. It's the devil. Well, I mean, um, <clears throat> listen, this, this couple, couple of messages coming through here, but for some of you, this has gotten you to the point where you're, you know, in your head thinking about this so much, it's become a little toxic here. Okay. Just, you know, throwing that out for some of you. Um, but this also is kind of like you, if, if this person made you feel like an option, you're starting to realize that you can't sit in that. You can't sit in something like that, right? No matter how, you're viewing them, you know, no matter how much love is there, um, it becomes toxic after, after a while to sit here and wait. Okay. For somebody, it just is kind of that. And I think a lot of you are starting to see that. Okay. So, okay. Eight of swords. Why is that here? Eight of cups. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, listen, there's, there's a choice for a lot of you to either walk away from this person or something here. Okay. You're in your head about that. You do feel like there's something here in this dynamic that is toxic here. And it has something to do with confusing thoughts, possibly, you know, you guys being put on the back burner here, made an option. It's, it's forcing you to think about disconnecting completely from this person. So for some of you out there, I think you're definitely thinking about, you know, uh, what do I do here? Right? Um, okay. Ten of cups. Yeah. Four of ones. Like you guys literally saw the whole thing with this person. Like, growing old, like doing the whole commitment thing. I mean, um, and now you're in your head because somebody I feel like hasn't taken the action towards this connection that you would like to see. Okay. Um, okay. Well, we'll, we'll come back and pull on a couple of these, but Knight of Swords, why is that here? Yeah, there's something here that needs to be talked about. Um, I think you guys are waiting for this person to, um, offer up some sort of conversation here. Okay. I mean, you feel like this is faded. You feel like this is a destined connection that can withstand the test of time here, you know? Um, and I think that you're waiting for that truth from your person as well. So let's say for a lot of you, I think that's kind of what's going on here. Um, and I mean, if I think again, it goes back to like weighing your options here. Um, like if this person doesn't come in and give you the truth at some point, you know, you guys are like, well, do I walk away? Like, when do I walk away? How much more time do I give this person? I don't know. There's that. Okay. <laughs> Wheel of fortune. Why is it here? <laughs> Judgment. Yeah. So there's almost, again, it can go both ways here. It's like, you do feel like this was faded, but again, whatever the dynamic of the connection right now has become a little toxic. Okay. To sit in this kind of confusion. Um, so yeah, there's, I feel like there's a judgment call on the table for this connection at this moment with, with you guys. So this is currently how you're feeling. Um, let's pull on a couple of these cause we need a little more clarity here. <clears throat> um, let's see the judgment really quick just cause it's fresh and it just came out. Why is it here? Page of cups. Yeah. For some of you, you're waiting for an apology of some sort communication. Yeah. Chariot and the moon. It's almost like, hmm. Yeah, like you, you're holding out for this person to come on in and, and do something like to make things right here. Um, if not, I do think that you're you're thinking about just again. I I get the vibe that yeah, Queen of Swords behind that with the full. <clears throat> it's almost like for a lot of you, you you really are considering like letting this person go, you know, completely here. Okay, uh, if they don't if they don't do something here, just kind of that. Okay, all right, the devil. Um, you know what? Let's do seven of cups first. And then I, I mean, I kind of get the energy here, but let's, uh, let's see. Seven of cups, queen of wands. Yeah. You definitely could have felt like an option with this person. King of swords, eight of swords. Like this person was in their head about what to do with this connection. And it, and it made you feel like an option. I don't know. Very confused. 
Um, I feel like this person has a tendency to be guarded, right? Um, eight of swords, nine of swords. Yeah, I mean, there's just like a lot of confusion around whoever this is that you're you're thinking about, pile three. Um, I think, yeah, it's become a little, it's become a little toxic here. Okay. All right, the devil. <laughs> Why is it here? Oh, well, three of swords. I mean, yeah, whatever this eight of cups get out at the bottom with the nine of wands. I feel like you guys have been thinking about walking away from this person for a while. Okay. It's become a little bit too painful for you guys to just sit here and, and hold out hope for them. I don't know. I mean, if this is not your pile, I feel like this is a pretty specific message. So, uh, you guys will definitely have to let me know if this one was for you because yeah, I'm getting somebody here who has held out a lot of hope for this. Um, for some of you, you could have even been married to this person, I am going to say. And like you, you know, you're in your head, like, do I walk away? Or I don't know if there's something there with that for somebody. Um, but yeah, no, you, you've seen long term, you're, you're heartbroken here. Okay, over the dynamic of this, and it's just kind of kept you in a state. I am getting for some of you, it's just been a repetitive cycle with this person with the two eights right here. You know, um, so yeah, I think a lot of you <clears throat> are either like, tell me the truth, let's clear some things up here uh we either move forward or we don't but you know either way i think you guys have decided here if this person can't do what they need to do it's just going to be you're going to move on right um okay well that's kind of where you're at so a lot of love you do see long term but you'll definitely choose yourself if this person's not willing to choose you okay so let's go over and find out how they're feeling right now and we'll see if you guys are kind of on the same page here okay all right Let's see how pile three is person's feeling currently. Yeah, nine of pentacles. Ooh, what pile do we get that in in that same placement? I want to say two, one or two. I don't know. Uh, yeah, queen of cups. Wow. Mm hmm. Hmm. Seven of wands. Okay, so deep down, this person does want to fight for this connection. I mean, um, yeah, I don't feel like this person's given up because we have the queen of cups and the nine of pentacles. I mean, listen, they know what you guys bring to the table. I don't know what they did in the past. It, it feels like, you know, it's, I mean, it just feels like they need to do something here to restore something here. But again, you guys might be sitting pretty. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, we need a little more here. Cause I just, it's a little ambiguous. I don't know. Queen of cups. What's wrong with that? <clears throat> the magician. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This person's trying to, again, manifest. I don't know. For some of you, you've already cut this person off. They're trying to manifest you to come back and, and give them some loving here. I just, <laughs> that's what they're feeling. And it's like, they're not going to give up with the seven of wands. Again, this person could definitely have come off guarded with you and this connection, uh, because the seven of wands can be that a little bit too. So let's clarify that right now while we're here. Uh, seven of wands, two of wands, planning, planning on how to fight for this i'm getting yeah three of pentacles knight of cups yeah this person's planning on how to stand up and fight for this connection to come back and rebuild it looks like the knight of cups i mean that's a love offer wow ace of pentacles behind that with the emperor hmm this person's done some growing i'm gonna say they feel like i don't know how long i don't i mean i you might not even be separated from this person i mean uh, maybe you've just been dealing with them but it feels like for a lot of you uh there's possible separation here and this person wants to come back in here they want to work together rebuild they're thinking long term too so again if you if you guys were seeing that they're thinking the same thing um, for a lot of you, I don't know how long it's been. I mean, if you are separated from them, it's almost like, yeah, you had your glow up and now this person wonders they're trying to manifest your love back. <laughs> I don't know. They want to do something here. Yeah. They definitely see a future with you as well. So the feelings are mutual on that front. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. Let's start with the nine of pentacles. Yeah. There's that four of wands. <laughs> um, yeah, they, they want this with you. Yes, that's all it is. I mean, it's, it's, it's a repeating message here. So yeah, pile three, I'm going to say this person definitely feels the same. Now, listen, I'm going to say for you guys, though, if this person is trying to manifest you back before they're ready here to actually, I don't know, I feel like a lot of you, it's like, have this conversation. Okay, so um, whether or not this person has told you that they see long term as well, I mean, they do. So that, I think that's the conversation for a lot of you, that that's what you're waiting for. 
okay? And you're just like, I'm going to walk away from it because it's become toxic to sit here and be confused. I feel like this person has kept you confused. And that's why for a lot of you, you just, you might have already moved on here. Okay. Uh, yeah, they see long term. So again, it might have taken you guys to walk away and do your own thing for this person to realize they need your cup of love back and want like the four of wands, like the whole thing too. Okay. So mutual energy there for the both of you, for sure. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. See, this could be why this person is, there's, there's a couple messages here. Um, okay. I am getting, for some of you, this person liked to be single. Okay. They were scared of long-term commitment. That's why they never had that conversation with you about, you know, whatever it was that you guys needed to talk about when it comes to moving things to another level. Um, yes, they held back, <laughs> um, because they were scared. I mean, it's fear of commitment here. Um, fear of having to give up their freedom, you know, kind of that. Uh, so again, for those of you that had enough and walked away, it worked. I mean, this person's now realizing they need your love back and that's what they're doing is manifesting this. For some of them, they're almost realizing that they manifested you. So, you know, yeah, they liked to be single, maybe play the field here. They liked their independence, but the whole time they were like either subconsciously or, I mean, actively, like trying to manifest somebody that they could love and have a long-term thing here with. And then you came along and then this person was like, oh, sh you know, like, um, it's here. Like, I, I don't know if I'm ready for this. So for some of them, I am getting that vibe completely here. Um, but yes, this is also them not being able to let you go. It is. It's that. So again, if you guys are off doing your own thing, kind of pulling your energy back from this person or whatever you're doing here, because, um, of that devil energy that we saw over there. Ooh, back at the bottom guys. I, I was just talking about this and playing with my cards here. It's the devil at the bottom with the page of pinnacles. Yeah. You feel like this person short sighted this connection and they, and they probably did. It's what it looks like here. Okay. Um, yeah, the higher event behind that with the queen of cups, you both felt this like spiritual connection. This person just came to the table all wrong. I feel pile three. I mean, they weren't ready for you. It's what they wanted and they were manifesting this, but when you came, I don't think they were ready. Okay. Well, that's the vibe I'm getting here. So let's keep going. You guys will definitely have to let me know if this sounds like your situation, because this is getting pretty specific. I am going to say, all right, queen of cups, 10 of pentacles. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, I mean, listen, this person manifested this. They see long term here. I, I don't know. I think they're going to, they're going to do something here. They're feeling like they need to. So, you know, if you guys are about to make a decision to walk away, I, you know, again, this is very similar energy to pile two, I believe. So if this is resonating, you may want to look through that one and there could just be messages in there. Um, yeah, they're not letting go of this idea though. So again, they're really, <laughs> I'm just getting for a lot of them are coming to terms with what this means here when it comes to long-term because there's so much love here they now see the full thing too. So yes, you guys both have the, the same mutual feelings here. I am going to say that you both see this going long-term. Okay. A lot of love here, mutual love and, um, yeah, a desire to work together. I mean, I think you guys work extremely well together. I'm just saying the energy is kind of vibe pretty, I mean, pretty well. I, I definitely see that this, whatever this connection is, if you can get past, if your person, I'm going to say can get past this, uh, fear, you know, fear of, of commitment possibly, um, and actually do the damn thing over here with you. It's going to go long-term. I mean, you both want it. It's mutual. Yeah. Okay. Seven of wands. Why is it here? Knight of wands. Yeah. Okay. This is somebody getting ready to say goodbye to their, the past behaviors here. Okay. That's a layer. It's, it's really like them, like looking back and being like, okay, well I was single. I had, you know, so much fun, but what lies ahead is so much better. So this is what they're doing. I mean, if this message was resonating with you, I feel like somebody out there is, that's exactly what I got when it first came out. Okay. Uh, because this future they see with you, um, the amount of love that they have for you outweighs, you know, it just outweighs this Knight of wands behavior. Okay. Again, another layer here. This is somebody about to take action. So either way you're resonating with this, this is somebody here at the hidden energy is like, ready to fight for this now they might even do something sporadic here i don't know you know if they feel like you guys are about to walk away they they really might um 
yeah, it might make them come to their senses, you know, and go ahead and speed up this process of, of letting the old them go. Oh my gosh, what is that song? The new me is dead and gone. I, I don't know. The old me is dead and gone. I don't know. You guys will have to look it up. I'm sure you guys know which one I am talking about here. Um, it's kind of that. <laughs> I could see this person like playing that song. Okay. Um, getting ready to do to do this. Okay. All right. The magician. Two of Pentacles. Yep. There's that decision to do the damn thing. I don't know. It keeps coming up that way. Um, they've manifested this and now it's time to make that choice. That's really it. That's how they're feeling towards you. There's choice here. They know that they may have dropped the ball and now it's time to let those behaviors go. Go ahead and do it. I really what I'm getting. Oh, yeah. The hanged man at the bottom of the deck with the King of Pentacles. This person has a decision for most of them to go ahead and grow up. I mean, it just is what it is. It, however it resonates to your person. I mean, it can be in any kind of way, whether that's, I don't know, financially, emotionally um, just maturity level in general i don't know um yes something to become more stable here for this connection okay four of wands because you both see it so that's you know the moon yeah they've kept it hidden <laughs> this person has uh, they probably haven't told you that they saw long term with you um for some of them they could ev they could even feel like you might be like the twin soul thing going on here too mm-hmm and that's why for some of them, if they've tried to let you go in the past, they can't. They just keep holding on to you because they feel this. There's just, um, for a lot of them, I think they, they kept this, what they're feeling here about the Four of Wands, a secret from you. So I don't know if you expressed that to them that you saw long term and then they got scared and ran. But um, same time, they, they were feeling the same. They, in fact, were manifesting this. And I think for just, it's kind of the message <clears throat> this person was manifesting you when they met you, they were like, oh my gosh, this, it's here, um, but I'm not ready. I mean, they just got scared. It's just giving me like cold feet type of energy, um, nervous cold feet energy to do this because they felt it the whole time. So yeah, wow. I'm going to say pile three, you're, yeah, you guys have the mutual feelings. You both want the same thing. I, again, I, Knight of Wands, let's see, tell us more. Oh, two came out. Six of Cups and the Nine of Cups. This person could have definitely been self-indulgent here, you know, from uh, like a past behavior. Okay, so that could have been the issue between the two of you. I'm going to say that. But it's almost like, too, that um, they're going for this now. This is Six of Cups, very n nostalgic. This is person realizes that you are the wish fulfillment now. So, yeah. If you guys are in separation, this person's like really heavily reminiscing um, and it's making them grow. It's making them want to want to make the changes now. OK, so they're really they're really uh, they're, this person's ready to fight for this. Yeah. Three of swords at the bottom with the eight of cups. They want to move past this heartbreak. They know. Listen, they know by not doing this with you already, it's it's caused both of you pain. So I, again, pile <laughs> pile three. I think this person's like gearing up to do something here. OK. All right, guys. Well, I do hope this resonated with somebody out there. You guys will definitely have to let me know if this was similar to your situation. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button on your way out. And if you are interested in personals, that's below. And if you guys want to get notifications when I post uh, new videos, you can hit that notify bell below as well. And uh, I think it'll ding you whenever I post more. Okay. All right, guys. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I will talk soon. All right. Bye, Pile 3.